Well, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has arrived in South Korea's capital, Seoul, where he's due to meet with several high-level officials. It's the first stop on a trip aimed at strengthening ties with U.S. allies in the face of the Ukraine war and rising competition with China. Stoltenberg will head to Japan on Monday. China and North Korea have criticized NATO's partnerships in Asia. At this pivotal moment in the war, we must provide heavier and more... Let's get more on this. I'm very pleased to welcome Eric Balbach, a Korea Foundation fellow at the German Institute for International and Security Affairs. So we have Jens Stoltenberg billing his trip to South Korea and Japan as aimed at strengthening ties with NATO. What specifically do you think he's hoping to achieve on this trip? You know, I think there are several aspects we have to consider here. Uh, the closer ties between NATO and South Korea, as well as with Japan, uh, have successively developed over the past two decades. Uh, of course, the uh, Russia's war against the Ukraine and the intensifying U.S.-China conflict uh, have brought uh, uh, another dynamic into the, the development of these relations. I think uh, it's a very symbolic visit, of course, but it's also a visit of, su of substance, given that 2022 has brought uh, yeah, an, a changing dynamic into the relations between NATO and South Korea. Mm. Indeed, Stoltenberg has previously made the case that what happens in Asia and the Indo-Pacific is important for Europe, too. Um, but how can places like Japan and Korea play a role in something like the war in Ukraine? Well, South Korea is already playing a, a role. Uh, it was one of the few Asian partners that from the beginning have criticized uh, Russia's war against the Ukraine. And in the past few months, of course, South Korea's role uh, as a supplier and manufacturer of high-level weaponry has played uh, an increasing role uh, in, in European arms swap deals uh, indirectly, uh, we have to acknowledge here, uh, given, for example, that South Korea now supplies uh, large uh, weaponry to Poland, which frees uh, the older weaponry from Poland up to give to, so to supply to the Ukraine. And what about China? Um, how much does this have to do with rising competition with Beijing? And how do you think they might view this trip from Stoltenberg? Uh, China, of course, will criticize uh, this trip. Uh, they are uh, firmly against closer security partnerships uh, of NATO in Asia. Uh, but this is exactly what we are seeing. Uh, for, for South Korea, this is important, too, given that uh, the U.S.-China conflict, of course, has a, a direct impact on South Korean security. So for South Korea, it's important not only to strengthen its alliance with the U.S., which, of course, also has a global dimension to it, uh, but also to, at the same time, diversify uh, its security cooperation with other partners uh, globally. And NATO and uh, also the EU security cooperation plays a vital role uh, in South Korea's overall uh, security dynamic. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us about all of that. That's Eric Ballback from the German Institute for International and Security Affairs. Thank you so much.